Hey gems, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be discussing a three-step simple strategy for Bitset 2023. I know you are in between JE fever, so I won't be taking much of your time. This will be a short and sweet strategy. So let's hop into it. So based on the current JE and board exam trends, we are guessing that your Bitset 2023 will be conducted somewhere in May and June. Of course, this is tentative, but we'll plan our strategy around it okay so the first step of our strategy is preparation of course it's the most fundamental thing so here uh, by preparation i mean covering up your syllabus okay so here you are uh, supposed to cover up at least 65 to 85 percent of your syllabus okay you have to be in this range to give a good shot for session one okay of course for se uh, session two you can uh, add on another 10 percent to this okay so of course each of you might be at different uh, on different pages right uh, some of you might be well prepared some of you might not be that well prepared okay so uh, those who are starting from scratch target up to 65 percent or more and those who are already in this you can uh, always push on more okay you can also go above 85 percent good for you okay a uh, bit set values uh, syllables completion so if you cover up more of your syllables uh, you will be eventually able to answer more questions okay uh, in bit set there are more questions so of course it favors that you complete your syllabus or at least try to okay so uh, those who are in this bracket can push on uh, to above 85 uh, and if you are able to retain it it will be good for you those who are not in this bracket at least try to get up to 65 percent of your syllabus if you are starting from scratch up till session one okay before session one then uh, also one major point is not to neglect uh, English and logical reasoning for now you can keep it out of the equation uh, we are six months away from bitset so for now uh, you can be least bothered about it for now just focus on PCM okay try to complete 65 to 85 percent of PCM then will in the last two months there will be a lot of courses that will be floating around on YouTube and I'll also recommend a few okay uh, the YouTube courses are really good for especially for Bitsat uh, and especially for logical reasoning and English. Okay, you'll also find some of my shots on logical reasoning and English. This channel in fact is a gold mine for Bitsat aspirants. So I want each one of you who are here for Bitsat content to go out on the homepage of this channel and explore. Okay, you'll find a lot of Bitsat content. Okay, coming back to step two, step two here, you are supposed to do revision. Okay, so suppose you uh, give about four months for preparation, then you have two months for these two things. Okay, and these two things you can do simultaneously. Okay, every Sunday you can give mocks and revise on the other days, right? So revision, uh, you are supposed to do chapter wise revision. Now by chapter wise revision, I don't mean you have to go line by line. Okay, you might have prepared your own notes or you might have short notes okay you just have to go and read those and just turn the pages i know this i know this then try solving questions which is very very important okay try solving questions you'll get stuck on certain questions you'll know where uh, you are going wrong and you can always come back to that topic and brush up on it okay so in this period the last two months you are supposed to revise and brush up the topics of which you are not supposed to uh, which of which you are not able to solve the questions okay so uh, when solving the questions, you'll come to know, okay, I don't know how to solve this question. You'll go blank. So you have to revise that concept. Okay. So that is meant by brushing up. Okay. You don't have to go uh, and study the chapter line by line. Okay. Uh, then uh, one more important thing is solving previous year questions to get a hang of the exam. Okay. We also have uh, an entire playlist dedicated to this solving previous year questions. We have solved previous year questions chapter wise the a series if you know it okay i'll link that in the description or you can explore it in the playlist section okay so already a lot of content is available on this channel that is what i'm saying we have the a series previous year question series we have uh, the shorts for logical reasoning and english we also have some dedicated videos for one shot english one uh, one shot logical reasoning memory based questions for bitset you also have six mock tests we, which we practiced before BITSAT 2022. So I want you all to go and explore okay, on this channel. Uh, then we have mocks. Of course, you have to practice mocks. Uh, GE is a different game and BITSAT is a different game. So I would uh, suggest that you start mock test very early okay, and start it against time. Okay? 
so uh, yes as i said start this before two months before exams okay every sunday or every uh, two days of the week you can uh, devote to your mock test and the rest of the days for revision in the last two months before uh, the four months you are supposed to target this last two months this okay uh, i'm saying start early because uh, uh, basically because you won't be able to manage time and your first few mock tests you'll realize that uh, that you take a lot of time to think and you'll have to manage okay so uh, in few mock tests you'll get uh, how to uh, practice yourself against time okay and do it against time set uh, the time for three hours okay and in three hours without any break try to solve the paper okay so that is uh, in the mock region this is in the revision region uh, you can click a snapshot if you want so that you can refer to this plan if you liked it and that's all about it. I want you to go and explore the channel. More BitSat content will be coming up uh, soon and also we'll be doing some content for GE people since uh, it's in the discussion currently and as we promised, we'll do something for them. So that's about today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, consider subscribing. If you are a BitSat inspirant, uh, this channel is a goldmine for you. Okay, that's all from me today. Keep enjoying physics.